We want to use the alternating series test to determine if the infinite series converges or diverges. To apply the alternating series test, we're given that a sub n, the non-alternating part of the series, is greater than zero, and the alternating series converges if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n equals zero, which is the nth term divergent test, and that a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n. So the terms must be non-increasing, but actually if the first two or three terms are increasing, it doesn't really matter as long as the terms are non-increasing long term. So looking at our series, notice how the non-alternating part, a sub n, would be equal to n to the second divided by the square root of n to the sixth plus four. Notice how here a sub n is greater than zero for all values of n. Now we'll determine the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, which would be the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared divided by the square root of n to the sixth plus four. Now there is a shortcut for determining this limit. If we look at the degree of the numerator and denominator, if the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator, the limit approaches positive infinity. If the degrees are equal, the limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients. And if the degree of the denominator is larger, then the limit is equal to zero. Notice how the numerator is degree two. Now looking at the denominator, the plus four is irrelevant as n approaches infinity. So we can think of the denominator as just the square root of n to the sixth which would simplify to n to the third. No absolute value is needed because notice how n is always positive. So the numerator is degree two. The denominator we can think of as degree three. And because the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator, the denominators are increasing faster and this limit is equal to zero. But if we do want to show some work, we would divide the numerator denominator by the highest power of n in the denominator which would be n to the sixth underneath the square root. So looking at the denominator, again if we want to show work, we can write this as the square root of n to the sixth divided by n to the sixth plus four divided by n to the sixth. Now again because the n to the sixth is under the square root, it's equal to n to the third outside the square root, so we divide the numerator by n to the third. So we'd have n to the second divided by n to the third, and now if we simplify, we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of, the numerator would be one divided by n, the denominator would be the square root of, this would be one plus four divided by n to the sixth. So now notice, as n approaches infinity, the numerator is approaching zero, the denominator is approaching the square root of one or one, because this fraction here approaches zero, as n approaches infinity, and therefore this approaches zero over one, and therefore the limit is equal to zero. So notice how we've shown that a sub n is greater than zero. We've now shown the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n equals zero. So now we're left to show that a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n. So we want to show that a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n at least after the first several terms. So to save some time, I've already used this formula here for a sub n to generate the first four terms, which we see here. Notice how from the first to second term, the terms are actually increasing, but from the second term on, the terms are decreasing, and therefore we can say that a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n for n greater than or equal to two, and therefore the alternating series does converge by the alternating series test. So let's go ahead and summarize this. We'll say by the alternating series test, since, let's go ahead and say that a sub n is greater than zero, and the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n equals zero, and a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n for n greater than or equal to two. The given alternating series converges.
I hope you found this helpful.